Wow. Hi, is your is your helium in, or is it out? Yeah, it's, it's here. Yeah, it's sitting there. <laughs> yeah, you want to look at it? <laughs> I would like to look at it and try try hold it and maybe maybe turn yeah. maybe turn <laughs> it on. I just want you for your red man. That's that's all I really want out of this relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Talk soon. See ya. <laughs> hey, friend Levi here. Welcome to the Left Coast Life. And today has not gone the way that I planned but it's actually kind of in a good way. I had some plans for the next 24 hours, but uh, they have now all changed pretty dramatically in hopefully a really good way. I'm, I've am i been planning to go into Vancouver tonight to hang out with the guys from Transposition and we're gonna watch Make uh, from Music Bed, a film about making things. But another opportunity came up way sooner than I thought. I thought it was gonna be sometime next week. And I talked about it previously, how I might have access to a certain camera early and this might all be happening really quick. So I'm trying to get the right things together, get all the batteries charged, make sure everything's in order because the next 24 hours are gonna be pretty crazy. All the things are getting packed. Not the drill or the salt, but all the things. Okay, so I just arrived here in Abbotsford and uh, I'm about to meet up with my buddy Dwayne. He's actually the guy that I met up with for coffee just the other day, if you remember that. And he's got something really, really special that I'm so excited to see. It just got overnight mailed to him yesterday. Good. Is that it right there? It is. Wow. They're like really close to being the same. Uh, yeah, so have fun tomorrow. Treat it like it's my baby. <laughs> I can't thank you enough, Dwayne. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy. Crazy. Yes. So excited. Thank We're going to put all. this to good we use. We all are. All filmmakers are excited for this beast. It's going to be good. Okay, now we've officially transferred over to the GH5. Looking good. I'm now going to head into Vancouver and meet up with the Transposition guys to watch a movie tonight. It's good. The next 24 hours are just going to be crazy. <laughs> I'm expecting that we'll run into a few bumps and obstacles along the way here, uh, but we'll figure them out as I go. And uh, I'm just excited to try it out as both a vlogging camera and a proper filmmaking camera because it should be brilliant at both. Guess what though, Ryan? Hi, Levi's blog. Hey, you Good. Do you see what camera this is? Oh. That's the GH5. Yeah. The, the one that I'm holding right yes. now. I stole it from <laughs> That's it. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what is this like is this what your wife feels like all the time? No, I just I make sure I don't do that to my wife so that way she st <laughs> she stays married to me. Hey look, untethered. That's a better idea having them up there. Oh look at that. I like how you put it in the furthest toppest. That was not intentional at all, was it Josh? Furthest toppest most corner possible. Do you put it near the door so you see it every day when you leave? Not bad. <laughs> yeah. 
screw this, man. I don't want to be making movies. And then I walk up there, I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. But it's like, it's a, it's a 35. Prime. And it look, look at the screen house table that is. You see that? Like the micro jitter just isn't there. I need to see so I make sure. Is it auto focusing on me? No, it's a manual focus lens. Wow. He only had like one scene out of the whole thing. It's worth thousands of dollars to me because it just Are you doing it just to satisfy to challenge yourself and satisfy yourself with that challenge or are you doing it because you're maintaining something? You're always balancing that. Man, it's so cool being back in this building. This is uh, where Ryan and Josh's studio is in the basement here. And I apprenticed with Ryan and Josh last year when I was still editing Untethered. So I spent like months in the basement of this building, just like wishing for daylight. But it's such a cool building to explore. It's like this theater for performing arts. Yeah, this whole stabilized thing is pretty cool. Just makes me wonder how the how the autofocus is doing and stuff like that. I'm curious how that's doing. But this pizza is doing really good. Yeah, I mean this setup definitely has a lot more weight going on than what I've been used to with uh, a 6300 vlogging setup. But at the same time, I think what you're gaining is kind of like totally worth it. I mean, I've done some vlogging with my A7S and I guess this is like kind of similar. I'm curious very specifically right now how the low noise performance is because I'm shooting in 4K 60 right now. So I'm just kind of curious how it does just in all this random craziness that I'm throwing at it <laughs> as I just like walk around and try film. Scrape out a living like what they're doing and like but like I guess I'm just okay. Thanks for hosting. Uh, yeah. yeah so we watched Make tonight which is a documentary about making things. And as you know, I'm slightly fond of making things. Yeah, it's really cool. It was interesting, the questions that come up as you listen to other people kind of talk about your craft. Okay, so I am off to pick up my buddy Nick. He's been waiting for me. I'm a little bit late. We're gonna pick up Nick, and then we're gonna head off to Squamish tonight, so that way we can get ready for a really early morning tomorrow. We're gonna get up like so early and get at it at the crack of dawn. So, uh, should be rad. See you at all. Yo, man. It's going good. How are you? This is it. Yo, that's unreal. GH5. That's so exciting. It's kind of low light. It's like struggling right now, though. It's no A7S. 
So what did you do? Like move here two days ago or what? Yeah. Nova. Oh. That was fun. Yo, this is looking nice. Boom. So there's Spencer in uh, that van right there. He's sleeping already, but uh, we're gonna kind of make sure everything's ready to go. And I'm excited to check the footage from today and make sure that everything's turning out the way that I think it is. And then... Uh, okay, so we're now back to the A6300. GH5 has served us well today. I feel like I'm getting, getting comfortable with it. First impressions, it's like super robust. I'm like, it's like a solid, solid camera. And what I'm seeing from the in-camera stabilization, I'm really excited about. So now I'm just gonna import the card from it and kind of just double check that the images are showing up the way that I think they are. We're mainly just gonna kind of use it how I'm used to using my other uh, Panasonic cameras and just kind of see how it goes. Yeah, the game plan going in tomorrow, I guess, is gonna be uh, this 12 to 35 lens I've heard really good things about. I've actually never shot with it. The challenge is just gonna be shoot as simple as possible tomorrow and just see what kind of results I can get just with like a handheld, simple setup. Then I'm also gonna use my my 35 from Rokinon with a speed booster. This is the other lens I'm gonna use a lot of. Um, so in between these two, that's kind of the game plan. We're gonna shoot primarily 4K 60 frames. Depending on what the lighting's doing, we might do some stuff in 24 so we can test out some 10 bit. But I'm mainly just curious to see what that stabilized sensor looks like with 60 frames and like if you can get that nice, like even even like gimbal looking shots. So yeah, I'm pretty psyched. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the footage looks good as far as I can tell. I mean, the 60 frame stuff, I haven't had a chance to slow down yet. Um, it's a clean image. It's behaving the way that I'm kind of expecting. And uh, yeah, the, the image itself is very similar to what I'm used to seeing in a GH4 or a G7, but the whole package together is hopefully going to perform in a way that just makes shooting shooting really easy and a lot of fun tomorrow. So really looking forward to, to just shooting something. Yeah, that's going to be kind of it for today. Huge thank you to Trisha from Panasonic for, for working on getting this camera out to the West Coast and uh, getting it into our hands. That's like so cool, and we're very, very thankful to... Uh, have an opportunity to be shooting with this camera. So huge thanks to Trisha. Yeah, and a huge thanks to Dwayne, who literally, upon picking up this camera <laughs> from Vancouver, dropped it off to me before he even got a full day with it. So thank you, Dwayne, for sharing so kindly. And uh, we'll try not to disappoint. We'll try not to disappoint you tomorrow with the results that we get. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, Nick, do you know what they're supposed to remember? Life's better when you make stuff. Life's better when you make stuff. Ciao. Ciao.